Julie Chrisley expresses a desire not to be present at her sentencing hearing. When fans learned this, they were stunned. This might be the most significant event in her life. She would prefer not to attend in person, though. Her reasons for not wanting to travel and her plans for a place in lieu of going in person have been made public. To learn more about the circumstances, continue reading. Chrisley's enters jail. Julie and Todd Chrisley are in federal prison right now. This relates to fraud and tax evasion. Julie might be able to go earlier than she had anticipated, though. This is because they lack sufficient proof to establish her involvement. Savannah is looking forward to Julie's return. Todd's main goal is to bring Julie home. He wants her to be able to live her life and be with her family. It would please him if she left first. Julie Chrisley is not interested in going Julie is not interested in going to her court date. Atlanta is the location of the event. She is in Kentucky right now. Since Mrs. Chrisley is now being held by the Bureau of Prisons, BOP, outside of Georgia, the BOP is likely to either move her through the Oklahoma City Transfer Facility or put her in a van and drive her a long distance while she is chained in order to make her court appearance. Mrs. Chrisley would suffer unnecessary physical suffering and be removed from FMC Lexington for an excessive amount of time under any scenario. She could then participate via video call, the court decided. Mrs. Chrisley can be made accessible to appear remotely for her hearing via video conference, so she can fully engage in the proceedings. The undersigned lawyer affirmed in a correspondence with Mrs. Chrisley's case manager at FNC Lexington. Julie will participate via video conference from Kentucky. Fans are hoping for the best for her. She and her family are going through a really special moment. Julie did not appear to want to travel more than 400 miles. Fans, however, do not hold it against her if she chooses to attend virtually rather than fly that far. She would have to spend hours upon hours shackled in a prison van. Alternatively, she would need to visit a transfer center. If she can attend via video chat, it looks like she won't have to go through a lot of physical hardship. What were your thoughts on her decision not to attend in person? Comment down below with your thoughts.